when the blue of the night meets the gold of the day. Someone waits for me. Welcoming you to Philco Radio Time, produced and transcribed in Hollywood with John Scott Trotter, his chorus and orchestra, the Charioteers, Gitch Henderson, and Bing's guests, the Les Paul Trio, and Judy Garland. But first, here's one of the greatest opening acts in show business, Bing Crosby himself. Opening act, yes. Yeah. What is this? Opening clothes in Darling Theater. Thank you, Ken Carpenter, yourself. Now, if the group will sort of gather in the staging area here, we'll churn a couple of choruses of Old Buttermilk Sky. Buttermilk sky. I'm keeping my eye peeled on you. What's the good word tonight? Are you going to be mellow tonight? Old buttermilk sky. Can't you see my little donkey and me? We're as happy as a Christmas tree. Heading for the one I love. I'm going to pop for that question. That question Do you darling Do you do It'll be easy Oh so easy If I can only Bank on you Old buttermilk sky I'm telling you Why now you know Keep it in mind Tonight Keep a brushing Those clouds From sight Old buttermilk sky Don't you fail me when I'm needing you most Hang a moon above a hitching post Hitch me to the one I love You can if you try Don't tell me no lie Will you be mellow and bright tonight By the melt sky Don't tell me no lie you try Old buttermilk sky That was Hoagie Carmichael and Jack Brooks' song, Buttermilk Sky. Of course, if you want to hear it sung good, you have to get the record by Matt Dennis. Really outstanding. Ah, buttermilk sky. Mm -hmm. What a vivid word picture it paints, Bing. Reminds me of the mellow and bright tones of a Philco radio. Fish gotta swim, birds gotta fly. We get our commercials right out of the sky here. <laughs> well, after all, why not, Bing? I know many a household that would be in seventh heaven with one of those big new Philco radio phonographs. It's been a long time since any of you had a chance to buy a big set, but your Philco dealer has just received a beauty. Gives you everything you expect in big set performance. Rich tone with a world of power behind it. New automatic record changer. Philco's exclusive tilt front cabinet that makes loading your records so much easier. What's more, this new Philco is an exceptionally handsome console model. A good-looking piece of furniture in your living room. Obviously a natural for the family for Christmas. And, uh, by the way, with Thanksgiving coming up tomorrow, you've got less than a month to do your Christmas shopping. So why not drop in on your Philco dealer this week and try out this fine new Philco? You could hunt all over town without finding an automatic radio phonograph of such high quality at anything like the price. And it's the newest thing in radio from Philco the Leader, famous for quality the world over. Well, I got Les Paul here to play the guitar for me. Now I gotta get me somebody to love. Nights are long, oh, so long, on the prairie. I got to get me somebody to love. Got to find one who's kind and not contrary. One who rides by my side, hand in glove. 
I got my horse, got a silver saddle. But there's one thing I keep thinking of. Nights are long, oh, so long on the prairie. I got to get me somebody to love. See how that moon shines so bright up above. I got to get me somebody to love. So bright up above I got to get me Somebody to love Somebody to love Thank you, Les. Thank you for the assist and for letting Trotter and the band take a rest. Now, if you'll excuse me, folks, uh, I'll take five and listen with you as the mighty Skitch Henderson steps to the Steinway complete with two thumbs and eight fingers to thrill you with one of Cole Porter's great tunes. I've got you under my skin. our guest of the evening, and for my dough, the talkie's most talented and attractive young lady. Just to think only a short time ago, this gal was a little kid with great big eyes and voice to match. What this tot with pigtails has grown into should happen to every little girl. Here she is, Miss Judy Garland. Thank 
Thank you, Bing. But I, I didn't think you'd remember me when I was a little girl. Oh, why, sure, Judy. I remember when you were in pictures with Mickey Rooney. <laughs> then you were on uh, some radio program, weren't you? Uh, yes, Bing. It was the, if you'll pardon the expression, Bob Hope show. <laughs> what a transition from Mickey Rooney to Mickey Finn, huh? <laughs> He's quite a wolf on the side, I hear, too. Don't I know? <laughs> <laughs> I could never understand, though, Hope's attitude toward a refreshing... Clean-cut kid like yourself. Oh, I think you're an angel. I'm serious, Judy. No one but a cad could think of you in anything but the noblest terms. As I look upon the pretty little girl I knew blossomed into stunning young womanhood, my thoughts now as then remain high. <laughs> yes, Judy, high. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Bing, not you, too. Oh, pardon me. It must be those atomic vitamins I'm taking. <clears throat> but bringing this discussion up to a current basis, uh, Judy, I believe you told me that your daughter, Liza, is just eight months old today, hmm? That's right, Bing. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to sing a little lullaby to her. Well, along about this time of the evening, I could stand a lullaby myself. What are you going to sing for little Liza? Liza? Everything dovetails around <laughs> Something mighty sweet I want to whisper sweet and low That you ought to know, my Liza I get lonesome, honey, when I'm all alone so long Don't make me wait, don't hesitate Come and hear my song May I tell you that you're high on the list of things we have to be thankful for? Oh, very prettily put, Bing. I suppose you're all set for your Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey, cranberry sauce, full treatment. No, no. No turkey at my house, Judy. My four boys all insist upon drumsticks, so we're having rabbit. 
Well, that sounds fair. Well, it's an annual ceremony at our house, you know. After they gnaw the meat off the drumsticks, they flog each other to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> they wake up kind of lumpy, but they're quiet most of the night. See, I remember when I was a kid up in Minnesota, I lived on a little farm, and every year about this time, I used to go wild turkey hunting. Oh, there's certainly nothing like getting out in the woods and blasting away at no hunting signs and an occasional gobbler. <laughs> I used to go hunting with a neighbor boy. His name was Homer Hogmeyer. He looked exactly like you. <laughs> oh, doggone Jiminy Crickets. Well, hello, Homer. <laughs> no, hello, Judy. Why are you going? I'm going hunting. You want to come along? Shucks, no. Went hunting with you last year and you shot my hair off. <laughs> Come on, Homer. After all, this is a turkey hunt. If you're lucky, some feathers may ricochet into your skull. <laughs> Come on, let's go into the woods. Gosh, it's dark. Yeah. Gee, ain't it romantic here in the pines? Just think here, Homer. Here we are together on Thanksgiving. I'm a girl, and you're a boy. Shucks. Shucks, it's that way all the year round, ain't it? Now, wait a minute. Quiet, Homer. I see some feathers moving in that bush. Stand back! Well, there goes the hair off my chest. Hey, look, Homer. Here come four Indians. Yep, yep. Them are four Indians, all right. Let me talk to them. I know their language. How? What are you guys doing here? <laughs> well, that's over. That's all right. Come on, fellas. That's enough. That's enough. Blow. Scat. Cut out. Hey. Cut that out. Hey, Judy. Hey, Judy. What? Hand me that gun. <laughs> you know, they'd be a great quartet for Jack Benny, that book. I shot his hair off, too. <laughs> oh, come on now, hush up, Homer. We gotta get a turkey. Yeah, we got a turkey. What we need is a hooper. <laughs> I think, I think there's something rustling over yonder. Gobble, 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 gobble. Is that a turkey? You were expecting maybe her goose. <laughs> hey, reads lines like a champion. Get back to the piano, Lyle. Go on. Yes, beat it. Ah, oh, fiddlesticks, Homer. We ain't gonna get no turkey. Let's sit down here on this log and neck. Well, your paw says we dasn't. Yeah, but my paw ain't here. Let's das. <laughs> Come on, put your arm around me and hold me close. Gosh, Judy, what's wrong with your eyes? They're awful close together. Them ain't my eyes. Them ain't my eyes. You're looking down my gun, my shotgun. Me. Oh, shucks, Judy. I ain't gonna kiss you in front of all these trees. <laughs> oh, now, come on, Homer. You'll do as I say. Now, hold on, you scoundrel. Unhand my daughter. Oh, now, don't get excited, Pa. We couldn't find no turkey, so we thought we'd just sit down here and sing a song. I don't hear no singing. You keep out of it. <laughs> come on, Judy. We better sing something there. Wait till the sun shines, Nelly, when the clouds go drifting by. We will be so happy, Nelly. Don't let me hear you sigh. I can't stand to see you cry and die. Down lovers lane, we'll wander, sweetheart, you and I. 
if you will wait, wait at the garden gate. Till the sun know, shines honey, I don't be late. Bye, 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 bye. Wait till the sun shines early. When the clouds go drifting by, we will be so happy now. I see Skitch Henderson flexing his digits, which indicates that the bard of the Baldwin is ready to skip with me through all by myself. So we go. All by myself in the morning. By myself in the night, I sit alone in my cozy Morris chair, so unhappy there, playing. Solitaire All by myself I get lonely Watching the clock On the shelf I love To rest my weary head on somebody's shoulder I hate to grow older all by
very nice keyboard calisthenic sketch. Thank you. Now, sketch, if you'll step over to the microphone, I would like to award you the B.S. Pulley Medal for your performance as the turkey in our sketch tonight. <laughs> Can't, uh, can't this award wait a second? What's the matter? Uh, after all, isn't everybody anxious to hear from the Philco man? Well, Ken, he's a welcome voice at any time. But tonight, I think all our listeners have their minds on Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. Bing, I think the folks like this. Ken, unless the Philco people have a new set with chestnut stuffing and giblet gravy, I think we'd best brush the whole thing for the mold. Now, just a minute, I'd Bing. go for a 1201, maybe, that you could spin the pumpkin pie in. That would be clever. That I wouldn't but enjoy. But, Bing, this commercial is in the holiday As far spirit. as I'm concerned, Carpenter, you can pass the cranberry sauce. That's all. <laughs> now, uh, you know, Bing, Philco's gonna be very disturbed if I don't read this. Oh, yeah, well, in that case, I concede. Start talking. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Philco, its distributors and dealers everywhere, wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. End of commercial. Isn't this amazing? Radio's falling apart. Just... <laughs> away from you, dear. I've tried so hard, but I fear you'll always follow me near and far. Just when I think that I'm set, just when I've learned to forget, I close my eyes, dear, and there you are You keep coming back Like a song Song that keeps saying Remember Sweet used to be That was once you and me Keeps coming back Like an old melody The perfume of roses Turns to my room in December. From out of the past, where forgotten things belong, you keep coming back like a song. That about gets it, but before I blow, I'd like to say it was mighty nice of you to drop in, Judy. By the way, you made any new flickers lately for MGM? Yes, I'm in an all-star musical that's coming out soon. It's called Till the Clouds Roll By. It portrays the life of Jerome Kern. Hmm, I gotta see that one. Well, good night, Bing. Night, Judy. Night, folks. We can hear Bing Crosby, John Scott Trotter, his orchestra and chorus, the charioteers, Skid Henderson, and Bing's guest, Jimmy Durante. This program is produced and transcribed in Hollywood by Bill Morrow and Murdo McKenzie.